Joining us live via telephone is Dr. Bulama Mali Gubio, who is the Secretary of the Bonu State Elders Forum. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. You're welcome. Thank you. How, how did you react to the news of the demise of the Chief of Staff to the President? Well, thank you very much. Uh, we have lost a great gem. Uh, he is uh, our friend, our member of the Manuel Group, as well as uh, he has been a very useful personality, not only to Borno, but to the entire country. Abakari has been a very quiet, intelligent, and very powerful person. He has been very quiet, but a great achiever. Abba had no quarrels with anybody since his childhood. Abba always cared for the needy, the poor, the distressed, the less privileged. He never liked uh, those who roam about and uh, get people for survival. Most people see Abba as a very difficult person because he doesn't like lousy people. He wants hard work. Dedication, honesty, transparency. Abba is very, was very honest. He was very loyal. And uh, it's a friend. He has been a very, very loyal friend. Abba will always advise you what is useful, and they will never mislead anybody. Uh, you can see that the president himself has said that he has been with Abba for nearly five decades. And he always found him to be a truthful and uh, positive person. Uh, for us in Bordeaux, we have lost a great star. Uh, it is a very difficult thing for us to fill the vacuum Abba has created. Right now, we are sponsoring so many open institutes in various schools across the country, particularly in Bordeaux. Even in one school, Abba has 150 open, whom he has been sponsoring since 2010. Now, now it was nine years. So Abba has been a great personality. In and out, he has been a banker, he has been a journalist, well-educated person, and a great friend. We have lost a great job. All right. Um, Bonu State, where you are, is yet to record any outbreak of COVID-19. What would be your observation and assessment um, of the preparation to forestall an outbreak by the government there? Well, here we have been very proactive. Uh, even though the virus has not reached our place, we have checked it so very late. Uh, as uh, our level of progression is as high as those of the virus in their feet. Uh, we have been produced so many years in our market, on the streets, in our places of work, even in our home, schools. We have checked measures to make sure that this virus does not come into our state. And uh, we have locked the state, no coming in, no going out. And the people are obeying the system. The workers from grade level one to children have been asked to stay at home. And they have been staying at home for the last week. Maybe it will be extended. Uh, only very senior workers will go and perform certain basic, important uh, services. Uh, our governor has been going from all over the state to make sure that there is compliance. He never stayed in Madhuguri for three good days. Right now, when Abba died, he was in Gamurunga in the border town of Chad in Cameroon. When he had the death of Abba Chari and rushed back home. So, we have taken lots of measures to make sure that this thing does not come into our place. And the most important thing is prayer. We pray to Almighty God that God will avert this for us and for the whole of Nigeria and the whole entirely. Epidemics come and go. And whenever there is epidemic, the most important thing we human beings should do, apart from taking those measures, we have to pray to Almighty God to avoid any calamity to humanity. Okay, let me quickly ask you about, we know that th there's been a lot of conversation about the welfare of the vulnerable and those who um, earn a living by daily hustle. 
what is your assessment of the preparedness or the availability of palliatives and how this is being distributed among the people? Well, in our own case here, in Bono State, we have been living with the IDC for the last 10 years. We have learned lots of lessons on taking care of the vulnerable, the displaced person. And this has already strengthened our position by making sure that the less privileged do not suffer. Right now, they are all in their towns, well protected, well fed. In fact, they are very happy on the streets. Yeah, people are allowed to go about their daily business this way, but to maintain the distancing and uh, vehicles have been directed to uh, convey a certain number of people. For example, if we have a saloon car, a taxi, you can carry only two persons. If you have a machine, you can carry only one person. So these, these are the measures we have taken, and uh, we have not stopped people from going about their normal businesses. The markets are open. Uh, and businesses are open, and then people are observing all the instructions given to them by the government. As for the IDPs and the orphans and the widows, there is enough stuff to, be, to give them. We have received a lot of support from the philanthropies, from organizations like NEMA, SEMA, Business Support Partners, and so many organizations have given us food items and other necessary items needed by our people. So as far as for no serious concern, people are not suffering, they are not complaining, and they are very happy. All right, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much.